So now let us see what happens when we bring the object even closer to the mirror. So the next important point or very special point is the center of curvature. Now which two rays can we take? Can you take the ray which is passing through the center of curvature? Not really, right? Because the object itself is at center of curvature. But we can still take the parallel rays though. Let us take the parallel rays. So the ray goes parallel to the principal axis, gets reflected and passes through the focus. Something like this. Okay. Now what can we do? We can do another very important and a very interesting thing that we can take this ray, it crosses through the focus and what happens when a ray pa passes through the focus and re gets reflected by a concave mirror? It becomes parallel to the principal axis. So if this ray passes through the focus, okay, this ray will become parallel to this principal axis. So it goes something like this. Yeah. Nice enough. That's how this ray will go through the focus and the principal axis. Now, how will the object be formed? See clearly. Okay, write this down. This point, this point A, let us call this point B. This point will correspond to let us call A dash. So that's how the image will form. So very using using a uh, free hand it is very very close to the center of curvature but if you do it in a pretty exact manner that's what, that's what will happen the image will formed exactly at the center of curvature something like this so yeah, this is a and this is let us call this a dash this is b let us call this b dash and if you notice the sizes are approximately the same and again if you do it in a more rigorous manner using compass scales etc you will see that these two are equal now quickly let us see write down what are the properties of this image. So is it real or virtual? Exactly, it is real because the rays are actually coming at a to meet at a point which is a dash. So we know one thing, it's real. And how about the orientation? Inverted or erect? Yes, that is an inverted image, clearly inverted what is the size of this image the sizes are equal in this case the AB is equal to A dash P dash the size of the image of the same size we write this down as same size and where it is formed it is formed at the center of curvature so the object is at center of curvature the image will also form at the center of curvature so it is image is formed at C the center of curvature now what will happen if we move the object between the center of curvature and the focus so it was earlier it was at the center of curvature and we shift it a little forward which two rays can we take again can we take the ray passing through the center of curvature? Hello. Can we take the parallel ray? Yes, we can take the parallel ray. No, nothing is stopping us. They will go parallel, hit the mirror, and pass through the focus. Something like this. Okay. And another ray can we can take is that if the ray passes through the focus, then it will it will after hitting it will become parallel, parallel to the principal axis so if we draw this through the focus okay and we extend this way so this is now something like this so it will pass through the focus and it will become parallel to the principal axis okay now if this point is A and this point is B how will the image be formed and of course 
this point will be say, let us call this a dash and this will be the head of this arrow okay so it will go and p will form somewhere over there that's how our image will form this is a dash let us call this point again b dash now what do we know about this image so what are the image properties clearly the rays are again meeting at a point so somewhere behind or somewhere beyond the center of curvature okay and the things are the rays are meeting so this image will be a real image okay and is this image inverted or upright again it's inverted clearly now what is the size of this image this is this is a let us call it twist till now uh the if it was at infinity the size was very very small it was a point sized image and if it some uh, it was somewhere beyond the center of curvature it was slightly larger okay and if it was at the center of curvature it was equal in size the image and the object were equal in size now as we move towards the focus uh, if we move towards the pole the size of the image will continuously increase you can clearly see and we can write the size of image the image as enlarged we have dim, we had diminished image and then we have enlarged image and of course where it will form it will form somewhere beyond the center of curvature from beyond center of curvature c so that's it for today's vid uh, this video in the next video we will see what it happens if we bring it even closer to the pole so let us meet in the next video